What up boys, little life update. I wanted to do a video because a lot of things have happened recently and I just wanna keep you updated so we're on the same track. I won't be posting any gym videos in the next couple of weeks or maybe months cause your boy was diagnosed with skin cancer. I wanna tell you guys a little story about that and also cause you guys could have awareness that I didn't have on that subject. So in September, I went to a place uh, because I had a lot of zits on my back and it's like a back facial. I didn't, didn't even know that existed, but I was like, let's do it. If I can get rid of some zits, let's just do it. So I go to this place and this lady look at my back and she's like, I don't want to scare you or anything, but it looks like you have skin cancer on your back. And when she said that, I'm like, oh fuck. I kind of knew maybe it was gonna happen one day because my mom had skin cancer. And the fact that she had skin cancer and I saw pictures of it, it looked horrible. So in my mind, it would be like, you would know if you had skin cancer because in my mind it would have been bigger than what it actually is. So when she told me that, I was like, oh fuck. Well, this sucks, uh, you know, so we gotta go check this out. So we went to Apple Tree the next day. It's a little place when you don't have a doctor, you go there and they can check you up. The guy looks at my bag, he's like, eh, I'm not too sure. It doesn't look like something bad, uh, but we'll put a note and we'll get you back uh, with somebody who knows a little bit more about that subject later on. And they found me someone in 2024 of April, but I was very lucky because my friend Bavi got me in contact with his doctor and I was gonna meet th this doctor at the end of the week. After knowing the information, he did the whole week, we went to the doctor. He looked at my back and he's like, eh, doesn't look like that much. We can either wait and see if it grows or we can, I can take a piece of your skin and we'll know directly. So I'm like, just take a piece of my skin. At least I know I did everything like right now and not wait it longer and you know, get stabbed in the back if it was. So later on, two weeks after the results come back and it's a beginning of a skin cancer. So it's like a low class pussy shit on my back. So I'm like, okay, that's all right. Let's, you know, take care of it. So I had surgery the 22 of December. So train, gain, build some muscle, did my growth season like it was supposed to happen. And then it was time for the surgery. We do the surgery. It was super smooth and it didn't really hurt at all. So I'm like, I was like this is this is great. The guy was awesome. We had a lot of fun, a lot of laughter with the surgeon. Anyway, so after that, I think it's done in business. In my mind, I'm competing in June. This is taken care of and now I can just go on the next chapter. But then they call me back and with an emergency, they're like, you gotta come back. This motherfucker is not a small melanoma. It's a hardcore melanoma and we need to take out more right now. And I got lucky because somebody got sick. So I got a the appointment the next day at 10 a.m. I'm like, we're locked in. So then we go back there. He explains to me, he's like, what you had on your back is a melanoma and it's not like a stage one. It's bigger than that. So we have to take out more just so we know it doesn't expand in your body. Because if you didn't know, I didn't know, a melanoma attacks the skin and that shit can go all, all in your body and fuck you up. A melanoma is the only skin cancer that can kill you. So, you know, I was like, okay, let's get this shit over with. So at least I'm good. So he takes out more on my skin. Now we have to wait two weeks to know how my skin is. If it expanded a little bit, we have to take out more. I'm really lucky because we did, we did know that pretty soon. And I will be honest with you guys, I take a lot of pictures of my back because I'm a bodybuilder and I had that thing on my back. It started exactly in 2020. And I didn't really know it was, it was gonna be something. I'll show you guys the picture. It doesn't look like nothing at all. So at first it was super small. I have things like that everywhere on my body. So I wasn't, you know, I didn't give a fuck about it. And it grew, it grew, it grew, but it grew so slowly that I didn't even notice it was that. When it was at its final stage or final form, to me it looked like a walk in a park. It looked like nothing. So we didn't really put our attention in there. And this is why I'm doing this video is to put awareness for you guys. If you see something on your skin, if your family had a history of skin cancer, just go to your doctor and just get it checked. Just because I knew, I wish I knew that earlier. So I'm giving you the information so you don't do the same mistake I did. Because in my reality, without Milan, I would have never ever got a back facial and no one would have ever known I had that on my back because I did four competition with that on my back. No one ever noticed it. No one knows about it. So that's what I'm saying. Like if you guys just look at your skin, it can be everywhere. For me, it was on my back, thank God. For some people, it's on the face. For some people, it's right here. Like if you have hair, you'll never know. So just like <laughs> make sure. But it's mostly uh, the melanoma is really genetic. So if you have that in your family, 
check out your skin for a second, you'll know right away. So this is why I wanted to make the video, just because I want to put awareness for you guys. Also, I want to give you guys a little update on the life, on my life. So no shows for me in June. My other show is is in 2024. Hopefully, because like maybe I'll have to go back a third time for surgery, but I don't think so. According to how the doctor was talking to me, we took care of business. But if it happened a third time, we'll see what happens. I don't think it will. I will be doing a show in 2024 for sure. I want to see where I'm at. I want to get lean again. I want to enjoy the process again. and share that online with you guys so you guys can, you know, tag along the journey. So that's the first news. Uh, of 2024 for me, which was for me, it's a blessing in disguise. So another thing that's gonna be new for me this year, boys, I'm gonna start streaming. In my life, if I see someone doing something I wish I would do, I wanna do it. And every time I see people streaming, I'm like, that's the best thing you can do. Play a video game, you share that with some people and you enjoy, I wanna do the same thing. There's a new game coming out called Tekken 8. I'm pretty sure you guys have no idea what the game is, but for me, that game is personal because I played it when I was a kid and I was so shit at the game that I was like, one day you have to make a mission to be good at this game. So the journey is gonna be starting next month. I'm gonna be streaming on another channel. I will put the link in the description. You can tag along, send me messages so we can have fun all together. So that's gonna be really nice. I have a nice little setup in my room. I'll show you afterward. But yeah, so that's really what's gonna happen. The prep's gonna be really interesting once we start the prep. So hopefully you guys learn a thing or two of this video. So this is the start of 2024. I got a blessing in disguise right here. Now I'm gonna start streaming and prep is gonna be very, very enjoyable. Hopefully you guys can look at your skin and hopefully you have nothing on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.